exactly what they do. They draw the culture from the Jamaican people. They draw the culture from the African in, 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 in America. And now we have a next man culture. And we use logic that was given to us by the colonial master as our thing. Because anything where we come to grips with, we can't define it in our own logic. We have to use European logic to define itself. And whenever we don't use European logic, it becomes like a stupidness. Because if I come to and say, I listen to him, I say, yeah, to me I say, I listen to me, you're hurt. I guess they know how you reach this up. They don't know how to make you hurt. He don't know that. Because you have to know, so tell me something, if you feel God to me, say, oh God, I create that and not hurt. And if you believe the people in the dead of God, you see my God, don't shoot at somebody. You know? see man, you see police around the man already, you know. In a Jamaica, police are run the man. And the man gets away now. If I'm going to let you know, and get up at the police and break out the wires, God, you can get up at the police, you know. That's what I'm saying. What do you think about that? Mr. DJ, that's the nastiest thing for record. The DJ there. Who oh, knows the DJ there? They talk the nastiest thing for record. And they go up here. I, I want, you know, and I want to thank God. Listen, I want to be there. You can say, God, if you talk the nastiest thing, you get your water. Oh, you can say, God, if you talk the nastiest Please said love viewers and subscribers well, go on open our doing good open our doing great yeah man my people so i come across this video a very very powerful one where muta baroka is talking about religion and how oh, black people keep on repeating their history yeah man a lot of crazy thing also a lot of important books get banned from us in jamaica a lot of powerful book that ones and one can use to elevate their brain and their consciousness to a different level so we're going to take a look at this one my people check out Muta Baraka for say and also um, leave your thoughts and opinion down at the comment section but before we go into it you know it's a black power movement drop a like and subscribe share it to a friend or a family so they can be a part of the movement no ones on ones let's take a walk check out Muta Baraka for say share your thoughts and opinion down at the comment section they used to arrest people to black books. Because all the books were banned. And we ran a keep up music. Banned half of the year. You can't be a piece of ground for the radio in Jamaica. And the radio says, lock down. Malcolm X book, Stoke Star Michael, Black Panther, all of these books. They would keep us, soul and eyes and all the books. You can't have a police get through them books there. Now they don't ban it to you now. They give you other things to do that negate those things. So we pick up our, our book, Race First, by Tony Martin. Okay, I said, well, I mean, I don't know race, Mr. Do whatever we have one, people. Then we tell you to do whatever we have one, people. Marcus Gann is a humanitarian. Marcus never a fight yet. Marcus Gann will go visit the head of the Ku Klux Klan. Why go to visit them? If you go to visit them, you can't ask them to say what we them people are. Race for us! But my family has said, watch out, I'm not a communist. Me is an African and deal with a certain spirituality. Me is a humanity, but it's race for us. And race for us don't mean racism. It just means to why your family, you take care of, they take care of the community. Because look, you, you could have fight the world like family, you're not all right, you're not all right, you know. Because you have someone that tries to save the world and can't save the family. You know? That's why even little people out there eat. Everything where you don't eat. So you have to save the family. They save the community. They go to the nation. They try to promote the world. And that man was the same man was the other. So we understand the concept of humanitarian. But when you use them, keep that word humanitarian. When I next to that people, I hope it's just so fine that you can't take care of your family. So Marcus Gavin said, Africa, the Africans, those at home and those abroad. And we fully understand the concept. Because we're not an evil people. Because look how much things the Europeans do to the Africans. And we're still dead every day. We're still nice. I was still saying, yeah, that's so it go. 
But there's a time when you have to look at the thing and say, but we, oh, we not take care of your family. But what if a black man can't take care of them personal family, them children, them? Because things are hard and they make things so hard for them. That's what they know. The majority, if you deal with the population of America, the majority of people in Africa is not black man. Give the idea that we are the less of all the races in, in, in America. How oh, come we follow the president so? How oh, come we follow the president so? America has the most prisoners in the world. Children have had a million people in America. China has one billion people or more. And there is a communist country that claim that the world claims that they will deal with human rights. Then if China are dealing with human rights, and they will have four times more than people in their population, how the hell America, who is the most democratic country in the world, have the most prisoners in the world? And that is the, the minority group, which is the black population, full of the prison. The chances of a white man going to prison for drugs is less than a black man going to prison for drugs, even though it is said that white people use drugs more than black people. How the hell that is possible? How we reach that stage there? Seriously. How we reach that up? Our man not have no respect for women. A black man may talk about now, because white man put them in one pocket still most of the time. But we have a black family now, you have a black man treat black woman in Terrible thing. It put our life over the white man and take him to store it. Like him have a breeder, like such a ass and me And then I'm about to go a baby mother. If I get disturbed, it's not baby mother. If it's not making any connection between him and the woman, he's making a connection between the baby and the woman for him, a kind of thing. So there's no relationship between him and the woman. Why are you asking me for me and my mother? I said, so you have to be proud of that I mean, then I'm for sure saying, yeah, all right, you don't need buy a brother. I'll talk to the mother, talk to him. Be my mother. How the hell? A man have a baby mother and a woman have a baby father. When a woman says she have a baby father, that she should have no connection with the man who we bring later. So that she just go to one sperm bank. And get the baby. Mm. Because if you have a baby with your woman, you must have a relationship with the woman. You must have a relationship with the woman. And from you realize that you do have a relationship with a woman, you have a child for you. You have to start to check yourself. You have to check yourself. Something wrong. We get caught. We are arrested. And we have been tried. And now we are sentenced to death in the system. Yeah. So we all get our time. We all get our time by what they call some cover. So you go back and see what is necessary and important from your ancestral legacy and draw from it and make it here and see what you can do. Because you can't do modern, but you have to do Western. Modernization don't mean Westernization. Westernization now is when your culture move from you into the so-called modernization. And that's what they do. They draw the culture from the Jamaican people. They draw the culture from the African in, 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 in America. And now we have a next man culture. And we use logics that was given to us by the colonial master as our thing. Because anything where we come to grips with, we can define it in our own logic. We have to use European logic to define yourself. And whenever we don't use European logic, it becomes like a stupidness. Because if I come to someone and say, I listen to him, I say, yeah, the way I say, I listen to him, it hurt. I guess they know you reach this up. They don't say, God, make it hurt. He don't know that. Because you have to know, so tell me something, they feel God to me, say, oh God, I didn't create that heaven and earth. And you don't believe that people did that, because you see my God, don't shoot that somebody, you know. You see, man, you see, police are running man already, you know. In a Jamaica, police are running man. And the man gets away, you know. 
If I'm going to let him, you know, and I'm getting from the police, I'm going to call him. Why? God, you get from the police, you know. That's no way. I'm going to take my record. Mr. DJ, that's the nastiest thing for record. The DJ there. Who knows the DJ there? They talk the nastiest thing for record. And then go up here. I, I want, you know, and I want to thank God. You say, I want to be now. 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 It's a crazy thing. It's a crazy thing we trade. And we don't recognize how crazy it is. You know, Steve Biko, Steve Biko said, the greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Mind. You hear me say? The greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. I have a next woman, she named Harriet Oman. Harriet Oman said, I have freed so many slaves, but I could have freed more if only they knew they were slaves. And then Marcus Gary come tell us, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. In that, in that bad man in the self, in a bad man in the regurgitating, if Marcus Gary said that, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Because I'm going to be a boss of slaves. We feel said, to not cheer on the power foot, we don't get slaves. But guess what? When our forefathers, and our four mothers saw the chain on their foot. They could take a chisel and a hammer and lick off the chain. Now the slave, they may not be slave, they don't see no chain. So they feel they're not slave, but the chain, they're the brain, and they have no slave hammer to lick it off. Because they refuse to heed to the call of what was before them. We are who we have been waiting for. It's not just man come back, no man of God now come back, no Jesus now come back. We are who we've been waiting for. Because it is we that went across the whips and the, the, the bottom of the ship to the piece of the ship and the ocean floor. But we survived. 400 years we survived. We survived the torture. We survived the lynching. We survived the cursing. So, we, it is our responsibility. Because we're not going away. We're not going away. Because if we was going somewhere, we died a long time because that was the intention. But in all of that, we survived. In all the Atlantic Ocean, we survive. In all the bottom and the ship them, we survive. In all the whips and the lynching, we survive. So if we could have survived that, we have to survive this. The problem is, the problem is, do we know that we are in a bottomless ship? Do we know that we are still being lynched? that we are still in chains and that these lynching and these ships and the bottom of the ocean is not physical. Where is the black man king? Where is the black man kingdom? We know for now that it is not over because in this country, I will ever repeat it again, can we see we have one right now in a Palestine and the Gaza and it don't look nice at all. We don't have no power. Black people don't have no power to do nothing what we have one this one. And even though we don't have a black president, we don't care about nothing because the black president is controlled and manipulated by the same people that we have bonded with them in a Gaza. We don't care enough about the people get to have. We don't care enough about the people But we have to think about that. We have to make a connection between them and now. 
Who are we now and who were we then? Slavery is not African history. Slavery is the breaking of that history. We have to go back long before slavery, long before the Arabs invaded Africa, long before the Europeans invaded Africa. We have to look at what they go to the Native Americans and what they do to the Mexican them now. And have built big ship named Wall, like Berlin Wall, to keep out the Mexican them out of America when we know say Texas, California, and all the places were Mexico. How the hell did a group of people come from Europe, come over this part of the world and decide that the true owners of the land do have nothing to do with the land itself, but they are now aliens in their own land and black people siding them. From a long time, black people are siding them from the Buffalo soldiers' days. Because the Buffalo soldiers siding the Europeans to kill out the Americans, the Native American then. How is that possible that black people have all of these issues in front of them and keep repeating it? So, we're going to close. We're going to close with the idea and the feeling that we will survive. Because we have been surviving. But we don't want to just survive. We want to be happy and live good life. Prosperous life. We want to can see people and say, love and don't have no animosity in our way. We want to share with each other whether you are of a different race or not. We want to come together as one. But we can't do that if we don't understand who we are as a people. And you have to find yourself before you can find something else. You get some people that are going to look for God. Anybody where you are going to look for God, don't trust them. God no last. Because I have the right as well. So I don't know where I'm going to look for God. If you are going to leave a cellar, I don't understand where I'm going to look for God. When you say hi, it's God. Especially when you see the woman there. A man free if you are worshiping woman, but you are going to talk to worship no human being. Eh? You better turn to your woman. Because this is the salvation there. Believe it or not, because we all come from that woman. Give thanks. Serious reasoning, my people. Really, really serious reasoning. Muta Baruka say, once they're looking for God, you cannot trust them. And that's facts. Total facts. Because once they start look for God in other side, it can't have a start. And this is the confusion come from, stem from, you know. And people believe this and, you know, believe what them believe in a, you know, say, a war that develop right there. So, because he must say this. And she has said that, and first we have to understand yourself, to overcome, have a mind for yourself. Because a lot of people is searching for this, searching for that one. It's right here. We just need to unlock. We just need to unlock the next stage there in our consciousness. You can't nobody now come down from ever. Come sure with the way. I tell we say, yo, I yes, so. Because no pastor can do that for we. No pastor can do that. Politician can do that. No, we have to do that for yourself. Everybody have their own destiny. So we need to go figure that out. And the baby mother thing, we never really take it so serious. But it's a serious thing. Stop using that terms, baby mother, because you exclude yourself you exclude your sister is a serious one my people really really serious one this is the reason why me have to stay tuned when it comes down to listening to the great Mutabaruka because a real power a powerhouse talk powerhouse reasoning to educate the mind feed the soul feed this is what African people need to tune into, man. Powerful. Let me know what you think about this down at the comment section, though. And before we go, you know it's a black power movement. Drop a like and subscribe. Share it to a friend or a family. So they can be a part of the movement. Now, my people, catch you in the next one. Irie.